What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Explorers here, doing the things and watching me the the Pokemon presents. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie. Um, before we get into it, do we have anything that I that I want to see from this? Well, honestly, the thing I want to see is Game Freak finally get this thing called. Hold a break. Like, not having to worry about it, or having to rush out another game this year. Like, we've seen what this annualized release schedule has has had an impact on when, when it comes to the main game. Maybe get on sand. Yeah. Like, just let them bring out a game that's optimized. That's actually optimized. That's not gonna be buggy on release. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's go then. All I've heard at this point is that it's apparently rumored to be Gen either, either a Gen 2 remake or Gen 5. Looks like Gen 5 remake. Hello everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, February 27, is Pokemon Day. This is the date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were first released in Japan. Our adventures with Pokemon, which started with the simple fun of collecting, trading, and battling in the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games, have expanded to fit into so many facets of daily life, including walking and sleeping. We'll keep challenging ourselves to create new ways to enjoy Pokemon, and we hope you'll continue your adventures with us. Today, we will be bringing you all the latest news about Pokemon, including our newest titles. Mr. Utsunomiya, please take it away. Hello, I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. I hope everyone has enjoyed their adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games so far. To commemorate Pokemon Day, we've planned a series of Terra Raid battle events where you'll be able to face off against a mighty Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. The first of these Terra Raid battle events will begin tomorrow. We hope you will all enjoy these raids. Today, I'd also like to share the latest updates on a number of our other games. Please have a look at this. A collaboration event with Pokemon Go is on its way. Pikachu wearing Cap's hat is making its debut. It even knows an attack new to Pokemon Go, Bolt Tackle. Charcadet, Armor Rouge, and Cerulege are coming too. And Liko and Roy will be dropping in when you snap a pick and go snapshot. So set out on an adventure with your new friends.
I never give up. We're just getting started. We're the greatest in the world. You're the greatest and strongest partner I could ask for. Okay, so far it's just updating us on the, on the mobile game. Now, the, okay, these I don't really care for. Like, if they're your thing, then that's fine, but they, I just don't care. Like I said, I I I would just be happy if, if Game Freak were, were finally give, were given a break. But knowing but knowing how much Game Freak have, have basically been made to do an annual annual release of something i i doubt that i doubt i doubt moving on please have a look at this video Okay, is this just basically a digital version of the original of... Uh, and we already have a digital Pokemon trading card game, or is it this, this own thing? Okay, that's actually just to do as like a, like a mini, as like a mini distraction. Pokemon trading card game pocket. This game lets you easily collect Pokemon cards, which players all over the world have enjoyed since they debuted in 1996, but in a new digital format. The Pokemon Company is developing this game as a three-party collaboration with Creatures Inc., the creators of the Pokemon trading card game, and DNA, our partners in the development of Pokemon Masters EX. To mark the launch of this title, here's a message from Mr. Yuji Kitano, President and CEO of Creatures. Mr. Kitano, take it away. Hello everyone, I'm Yuji Kitano from Creatures Inc. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for enjoying the Pokemon Trading Card Game. With Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket, 
We hope to bring you all a new way to enjoy the Pokemon trading card game, so we are hard at work developing digital cards. When we develop physical cards, we strive to please by taking great care with our paper quality, colors, and printing process. Since this game uses mobile devices rather than paper, we're challenging ourselves to express that care in new ways that are only possible digitally, such as using the characteristics of the screen to show off brilliant colors and stylish effects. One way we're accomplishing this is with immersive cards, which give players the experience of leaping into the world of the card illustration. What's more, we've developed new streamlined game rules based on our existing battle system, so you can enjoy a quick battle during the free moments in your day. Okay, so it's a streamlined our version of the, of the TCG. We're working hard to deliver a fun experience for those of you who already enjoy the Pokemon trading card game, as well as those who've never played before. We hope you look forward to the results of our latest efforts in the world of the Pokemon trading card game, Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Kitano. We plan to launch Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket within 2024. Please look forward to more details in the future. Just one more thing. We'd like to end today's presentation with one final video for you all. Thank you for tuning in. Ah, pizza, pizza. Well, that got cryptic. People that break, please. Okay, where are we going with this one then? Other than what looks like Unova? Okay, so we actually are getting it somewhat of a year off on this. Well, I'm happy. Well, I'm happy for this one. They're actually getting more time. They're actually getting more time. Thank you. Well, thank you. Like, that's. I think that's what what lovers wanted. Like just, just, just a little, just, just an extra, some extra time to work on these games. Thanks, Nintendo. You you actually listened. <laughs> Ain't that nice? <laughs> Ain't that nice? Well, I'm definitely happy. <laughs> It just means either 
uh, well, it just means well, one thing in particular. We're just getting some extra time. Like, of course, there could very well be a um, a um, a Legends Arceus situation where we're going to be seeing two games come out next year. Well, that and I'm going to assume then the Gen Five remake. Which, going by the fact that the Gen 4 remakes were done by Ilka, I think that's the name of whoever did, did those. Okay, I think... I think we should be okay then. Like, being, being afforded all this extra time. Yeah. I'm okay with this. Yeah. Anyway, if you like this pretty short video, <laughs> consider subscribing and see you on the next time I do this. I do the things. <laughs> I bet all the Pok One C people will be will be kind of happy though, given we were going on that for a, for a while.